sent here to a hospital core hole so and I ran into two problems so one is the wall here when you're coring through a wall we have to remove uh, this portion of drywall on both sides so you can get in that wall because the drill is not going to fit uh, in on one just on one side so I went ahead and scanned the ground there you can see the blue tape that I scanned uh, with a GPR scanner to locate any utilities and then I had the contractor uh, remove this portion of drywall on both sides uh, they didn't know that you have to remove both sides, but after showing them the drill won't fit in there, they understood and uh, removed that drywall for me. So now my drill is going to fit perfectly in there. So that was my first issue going in there. Another one is the base was not sticking to the ground. Sometimes you have cracks uh, in the ground or, or whatnot. You can use duct tape on some situations you can, but this situation I wasn't able to plug up the... Uh, the crack in the ground here um, so I had to stand on my drill there you can see I'm standing on my drill to drill these holes it could be a little dangerous but if you know what you're doing uh, then, then you'll, you'll be fine so I'm standing on my base putting pressure down and I keep a consistent speed just drilling through I'm going through Robinson decking so uh, there's that first hole complete I did three holes you can see that little one and the one that's plugged there uh, and I got it all done so after all, it wasn't a fail, but it was a success. Cleaned up. Uh, in a hospital, you want to keep things as clean as possible, obviously. So, always carry rags. But there you guys go. You know, standing on the base helps when in those situations. Uh, if you can do that, most times you want to make sure that base can suck to the ground and, and uh, keep you from hurting yourself.